Normally when you do a time change in post, it's much easier to go from day to night because it's much brighter, there's more detail. But when you go from night to day, there's less detail, right? Because the camera can't even see the details. But this is where AI can come in handy. Let's jump on in. For our night to day example, I have here this image overlooking a city. And then for day to night, I have this image here. Before we turn this into a video, I want to add a moon right up here in the sky to signal that it's getting dark soon. An easy way to do that for Photoshop users is to import the photo, select an area and use generative fill to add your moon. But in this case, I wanna use Envato's image edit tool. Here I can upload an image and pick the replace tool. And then I can paint over the area where I want the moon to be. And then I can add in a short prompt here and press replace. And Envato will give us a couple options here to pick from. So pick the one that you want and then press keep to continue making edits or just download the result. For me, I got this result and I think it looks pretty good. Let's turn this photo into a video and let's use Envato's video gen to do the job. Here we can upload the photo we just made and video gen will use this as the first frame of the video. Then let's write out our prompt. Make sure to give a brief explanation here of the scene so AI can do less guesswork and also write in any camera movements that you want. For me, I want the camera to be completely still. Let's generate. So as it's generating, I'm going to open up another tab of video gen and here I'll upload the city at night photo. I'll write in a prompt and since there's more going on in this photo, make sure to write in more details into the prompt. For example, we can mention that all the city lights should be off as the scene gets brighter. Once you're happy, hit generate. And here are the results that I picked. This day to night video turned out great and it was the first generation, but the night city sign did take a few more generations in trial and error until I got a better result. So as you can see here, the AI was able to bring out details and spots that were pretty much pitch black in our original photo. And of course this won't be perfect since the AI doesn't have much to work with, but the tech is getting better and better each week, each month. For now, I think it's best to use this for social media content and lower budget films because it's still pretty convincing. I've got both of our generations here inside of Premiere Pro. Let's drag it in the timeline. And before we give it the editor's touch here, I want to extend our city shot even further because right now the video stops right before the sunrise. So what I can do is move my playhead to a few frames before the last frame, press C for the razor tool, and we can add a cut. Having a few extra frames here will let us add a crossfade later on. Then we can press this camera icon to save this frame as an image file. Now back inside of Envato's video gen, upload this image we just exported from Premiere Pro and write in a prompt. This time we want the sun to rise up over the horizon. And don't forget to mention that we want the camera to stay still to be consistent with our first generation. Also for continuity, let's check the first generation to see which direction the cloud is moving and then add that into the prompt. I've made a couple generations already without adding this to the prompt. And even though they look good on their own, once we connect it to the first video, the cloud changing direction just doesn't look right. This is also a good spot to mention that this effect is much easier to do when there's not a lot of movement going on in the source video. For example, I did this night to day generation, which turned out pretty good, even with the moving water. But once I tried to create another generation off the back of it, it just couldn't get the water to look natural. And some of the results just changed the whole scene entirely, which of course is not what we want. So let's go back to the prompt here. Now, I think that this should cover everything. So let's just hit generate. And after a couple tries, I think that this is the best result. It's not perfect. As you can see, this was supposed to be lights from cars running on the road, but once the sun rises, it kind of turns into smoke. Although I think I can fix this in post. 
Let's go back to Premiere Pro. I've imported our new generation into the project panel here. And since we have this cut point on the first generation, we can just drag the second generation here into the timeline and place it right at the cut point. Now moving the playhead back and forth between the two generations, you can see that they don't line up perfectly. So let's select one of the videos and in effect controls, let's click on the motion tab. In the preview window, let's zoom in a bit more and use the arrow keys to nudge one of the videos a tiny bit until the second generation matches the first. Another thing that isn't quite matching here are the colors, but not to worry, we can fix that. Usually the second generation will be a bit darker. So let's add the Lumetri color effect to the first video and in effect controls, I'm going to tweak the contrast and the shadows just a bit to get a better match with the second video. It might not look perfect, but we can smoothen the transition even more by selecting the cut point and press Shift D to add a crossfade. Now let's fix those weird road lights in our second generation. I'll make a cut right after the road, stop spazzing out here, and then I'll hold Alt or Option on a Mac and drag this front part up a layer to duplicate it. Now on the top layer, let's find a frame where this road looks pretty natural and then right click. Let's add frame hold just to basically make a freeze frame. Then we can delete the rest to keep only the freeze frame. And with the freeze frame selected, go up to effect controls and under opacity, let's add a circle mask and let's make it much smaller to only cover up that road. Let's bump up the feather a bit to smooth the edges and down in the timeline, let's also add a fade at the start and end of the clip. And now that weird air will not be distracting anymore. For some finishing touches here, we can nest both the clips so we can add some zooms to help hide the transition and also to give the video some movement. And then we'll top it off with some final color grading to glue everything together. And here's the result. So as you can see, it wasn't like I type in a prompt and voila, it was done. There was still a lot of control that I had and a lot of editing I had to do to make it work. And our sponsor today is Envato. And what I showed you in this video is just a tiny little bit of what they offer. They have so much with one Envato subscription. You can get stock video, you can get unlimited photos, unlimited sound effects, unlimited music, and they have other stuff for design like fonts and graphic templates and all that jazz. The best part about having unlimited downloads with an Envato subscription is that you can download as much as you need to test and try out even if the first download doesn't work and you can use all the assets in any type of project worry free. If you would like to try out Envato's creative assets and Gen AI tools, I put a link down below where you can try it out. Thanks so much to Envato for sponsoring and thanks to you for watching this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to check out other video effects with the help of AI, you can click right over here to watch this video. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Whoop.